Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of me explaining and running through some of your favorite anime abilities. For this video, I'm going to go over Katsuki Bakugo's quirk, Explosion. And I have to admit, I'm really enjoying Baku no Hero Academia, and Bakugo is slowly winning me over. Initially, I didn't relate much to him compared to the other characters, but as the series progressed, Bakugo is proving to show more to himself than just a hot-headed rival to our protagonist. Hopefully going over his quirk will just light more fuel to his fire. But like always before we start, I'd like to remind you guys if you want to purchase awesome anime apparels and accessories which include Baku no Hero Academia's shirts and jumpers, then make sure to check out our sponsors Anime Ryo, where they will give you guys a 10% discount on their products with the discount code ABDSQUAD. The link is in the description and the comment section below. And a quick disclaimer is that I might butcher some pronunciations here and there, but please look past that. And if you end up liking this video, show us some love by smashing that like button, subscribe and hit that notification bell. Now with all that out the way, let's cue the intro. So unlike most anime, Baku no Hero Academia already set some basic scientific explanations on how abilities work within the universe, as powers and abilities are referred to as quirk, which is a unique identifying result of mutation within the general populace. But guys, I'm not going to go too much into detail on the science behind the mutations resulting in quirks. If you guys want me to do a separate video on this, explaining it, then let me know in the comment section below. In the case of Katsuki Bakugo, he possesses the close range emitter quirk explosion although the name itself pretty much gives away what he can do. You know, make things explode and cause explosions? Well, even though we would think that, the reality about his mutation isn't really making explosions itself, rather it's just the outcome. So what is Bakugo's quirk? Well, to be precise, Bakugo can excrete sweat similar to nitroglycerin from his palms and ignite it at will, consequently ending up to create various explosions. As quirks are genetic mutation, it is usually inherited or developed due to the combination of the parent's quirk. In Bakugo's case, his mother, Mitsuki Bakugo's quirk is called glycerin, where Mitsuki can secrete glycerin from her skin. Because of its moisturizing effect, she always has great skin quality despite her age. Bakugo's father, Masuro Bakugo's quirk is called oxidizing sweat, where his palms can secrete acidic sweat with combustive and explosive properties. If he rubs his hands together, he can create explosions, but unlike his son, he cannot forcibly secrete it, and it comes out like normal sweat. With the combination of his father's and mother's quirk, their son Katsuki is able to secrete a mixture of both glycerin and the acidic combustive sweat, which Bakugo can secrete willingly and control the power of the explosion. But to summarize, the main crux of Bakugo's ability is having a different kind of sweat compared to you and me ordinary quirkless pitiful weak humans. Okay maybe not all of us are pitiful and weak, but seriously guys, Bakugo's sweat is the real deal. To go into further detail, Perspiration consists of fluid secreted by the sweat glands in the skin. These fluids are usually mostly water. Dissolved in the water are trace amounts of minerals, lactic acid and urea. Although the minerals contents varies, some measured concentrations are 0.9 gram per liter of sodium, 0.2 gram per liter of potassium, 0.015 gram per liter of calcium and 0.0013 gram per liter of magnesium. You guys probably did not need to know that, but that information might come in handy one day. Now in Bakugo's case, his perspiration fluid would more likely contain similar measurements of these minerals. However, instead of just water, Bakugo's sweat is also mixed with a good amount of nitroglycerin. Now some of you guys are probably like, what the hell is nitroglycerin anime balls deep? Tell us please! Well guys, that's exactly why I'm here. Nitroglycerin, also known as nitroglycerin and other variations, is a heavy, colorless, oily, explosive liquid. And as mentioned earlier, Bakugo inherited a combination of his parents' quirk. Nitroglycerin can be produced by acid-catalyzed nitration of glycerin where a mixture of concentrated sulfuric acid and concentrated nitric acid is required. Bakugo's father's sweat consisted of the acidic components needed and his mother's sweat consisted of the glycerin. This produced nitroglycerin. Nitroglycerin is made up from a twist of carbon, nitrogen, hydrogen and oxygen. It has the chemical formula of C3H5N3O9 which means there's 3 parts of carbon, 5 parts of hydrogen, 
3 parts of nitrogen and 9 parts of oxygen in that molecule. And since it was first synthesized in 1847, natural glycerin was found to be more explosive and stronger than black powder. Since then, it has been used as an active ingredient in the manufacture of explosives, mostly dynamite, resulting in its use within constructions, demolitions and the mining industries. Later, since the 1880s, it has been used by the military as an active ingredient in some solid propellants such as cordite and ballastite. I'm not even sure if I'm saying those two names right. But natural glycerin is also used as a major component in double base smokeless gun powders used by reloaders. There are also hundreds of powders combination used by rifles, pistols and gunshot reloaders. So you guys should get the gist by now. Natural glycerin is pretty much used as an explosive. But now the question arises, is it even safe to sweat that shit? Well technically, yeah, it is safe. In fact, natural glycerin is actually also used in medicine. For a long time now, natural glycerin has been used as a powerful vasodilator to treat heart conditions such as angina pectoris and chronic heart failure. And it is available in sublingual tablets, sprays and patches. The substance itself being safe all depends on what form it is in and the concentration. While in liquid form, natural glycerin is very unstable and may explode subject to heat, shock or being exposed to flames. Solid nitroglycerin glycerin is much less sensitive to shock than liquid, but still explosive. However, nitroglycerin glycerin in solid form is a lot more stable that it was possible to include it in a mass manufacturing of dynamites. It was during this process that factory workers noticed a strange thing. Whenever they came into the factories, those with pains in the chest felt those pains subside from the exposure of nitroglycerin. glycerin. However, infrequent exposure to high doses of nitroglycerin glycerin can cause severe headaches known as NG head or bang head. These headaches can be strong enough to incapacitate some people. However, humans being so awesome as they are developed a tolerance to it. But with that, they became quite dependent on nitroglycerin after a long term exposure. In Bokogo's case, he's more likely adapted quickly to this, so I'm sure he doesn't get affected by any headaches or negative side effects. For workers in nitroglycerin manufacturing facilities, the effects of withdrawal sometimes include Sunday heart attack, where after being exposed to regular amounts of nitroglycerin in the workplace, the workers will build a high tolerance to the effect. However, over the weekend, the workers lose the tolerance and when they are re-exposed on Monday, their drastic vasodilation produces a fast heart rate, dizziness and headache. This is referred to as Monday disease. Basically, the body, if it gets accustomed to the natural glycerin, it will go through some withdrawals when the natural glycerin is no longer present. In the Boku no Hero Academia series, it is not really mentioned what will happen to Bakugo if his quirk is taken away from him, but it is possible that he would go through some heavy withdrawals. Now to answer the question on how natural glycerin can be used safely as medicine and to explain how Bakugo isn't dead with that huge amount of explosive liquid within his body. Well, if you guys were paying attention, as mentioned earlier, natural glycerin when in low concentration and in a certain molecular form, it is actually quite safe. Remember guys, concentration and structure literally can change the effects of pretty much anything. And more than likely, Bakugo's body produces a mixture of liquid natural glycerin and other sweat components within his sweat glands. His body itself wouldn't entirely be exposed to the substance, rather it would only be located on his skin within the pseudoriferous glands. However, if he did have some natural glycerin elsewhere in his body, it would more likely act as a vasodilator similar to the effects of the heart medication. Now guys, remember the more Bakugo sweats, the more powerful his explosions are as there would be a higher concentration of explosive nitroglycerin. And in order to enhance this factor, Bakugo added a special gear to his costume, the Grenader Bracers. This device stores his sweat to amplify the power and effect of his explosion to the fullest potential. Once the gear is filled up with his sweat, Bakugo can then pull out the grenade pin to release a massive powerful explosion, which is enough to destroy buildings. The main reason this modification was created was so that Bakugo could release powerful explosions while minimizing damage to himself. As mentioned about Bakugo, the Grenada Bracer serves to reduce the risk of overusing his quirk, as well as amplifying the effects of the explosions. As seen during the end of term test, when Bakugo allowed Midoriya to use one of the gauntlets to blast All Might. However,
However, Midoriya did comment that triggering one of the braces firing pins created a strong recoil that put a strain on his shoulder, hinting that Bakugo is pretty strong to handle that recoil on a constant basis. But this fact implies that Bakugo can fill up grenades with sweat and share it around for others to use, basically making him a living dynamite factory. With all that, Bakugo is actually a talented fighter with good instincts. The only few disadvantages Bakugo's quirk would have is being in the right temperature as during a cold environment, the nitroglycerin like sweat would take a longer time to ignite as opposed to heat, where conditions would be optimal for ignition. Another disadvantage is that repetitive use of his quirk would wear out Bakugo's palms due to the direct skin contact, which kinda makes him dependent on his gauntlet. Although it's not like he can't hold his own without it, as seen when Bakugo managed to fight off Shimura and his gang while trying to flee, but in a long drawn out fight, this drawback would put him in a similar situation to Midoriya. Alright guys, with that I summarized Bakugo's quirk. If I managed to clarify how it worked to some of you guys and if you enjoyed this video then smash that like button and let me know in the comment section below on which ability you want me to break down next. I'm more than likely going to cover Todoroki's quirk very soon so make sure you're subscribed and have that notification bell on to keep yourself updated. And with all that, I'll see you guys till next time.